Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Uh, we're going to watch a little slideshow here while I talk to you. Um, well over a year ago, well, closer to two now, just before Fukushima blew up, or around about that time, I was in California. Um, a lot of hype on YouTube and on the Internet about uh, the New Madrid Fault and, uh, you know, the 2012 map. Um, which also shows Yellowstone blowing up. and So I, I started uh, reasoning things out as far as I knew California wasn't going to be a safe place between Fukushima and all the other things going on a long term. Um, it wasn't going to be a safe place. And I really wanted to get on the eastern side of the New Madrid zone so that if this map is true and if those things do come to play I would at least be able to get back here to where I am now in New Hampshire because there's an abundance of clean water um, forested spaces hundreds of acres uh, and also obviously if need be it's uh, close to Canada so I had overlaid the ash maps and this 2012 map and uh, considered the nuclear reactors and uh, really the only two places when I was in California that I saw were in the upper uh, northwest Montana area um, or here New Hampshire Maine Vermont uh, that area um, and my reasoning was is that if uh, you know things got too bad here you could get over the border into Canada possibly um, but ultimately for me New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont would be the area because uh, generally speaking I know how the people think here and I know how they're going to react in certain situations and um, ultimately if anything did happen that's safest for me. Now we're here now, uh, 2012, and we have this sinkhole in Louisiana and obviously that could trigger uh, the New Madrid fault and I had posted on Facebook, <laughs> it doesn't really matter if uh, they planned on setting it off or if in the 70s they knew because of earth changes or other changes in space that it was going to go off on its own. That, that's irrelevant. The fact of the matter is, is it's going to, as far as I'm concerned. It, it will. Um, we, we don't know when. I mean, they've always said it will. Ever since the 1800s when it went off once, there's many scientists that said it will again. We don't know when. Uh, my thinking is is it's not too far away and it does play into all sorts of other things um, you know and a lot of people are looking for war to be the next big event or this fiscal cliff now at the time of the NLE event the, I, like I said there was a lot of uh, fear mongering and preparation because of the new Madrid fault uh, because people knew that FEMA had um, bought all those underwater body bags, you might remember that, uh, all the prepared meals, blankets, plastic coffins, and they had their NLE 2011 exercise. Um, side note, there will not be any links in this video. Um, I post enough links, I do enough research, and because of this situation, I, I don't want to convince you of anything. I want you to do your research. I'm giving you my mindset okay um, I th I think we're probably in the time zone rough roughly speaking um, that we're going to see the new Madrid go off uh, it, it seems reasonable to me um, so y you should do some research and I had uh, made a comment on Facebook to somebody that's actually in Louisiana and I said if you have the means uh, I would leave that area um, and I know that's not reasonable uh, for millions of people to get out of the new Madrid zone. Um, and when it does happen, uh, probably millions of people are going to die. It's just, uh, tens of thousands at the very minimum. I think they ordered 90,000 underwater body bags. So they must have a pretty good idea this is going to be mass casualties. And as far as the FEMA camps, I don't really think our government is coming to kill us. I think it's more reasonable to believe that they know there's going to be a big event, and they know you people 
have relied on them and you can't take care of yourself in these situations um i'd like everybody to have the mindset that in the blink of an eye you may have to live like it's a hundred years ago because that's about the only thing that you can do for sure to keep yourself safe if you just have the mindset that you might have to and if you're willing to accept that if you're willing to live without your iPods and without your fancy cars and with your gold whatever it is you lost for if you can accept that you may have to live like that and that you can live like that without losing your cool maintaining the respect you have for the people around you but what's going to happen to most people in a circumstance like that even if they weren't a thief they're going to start stealing because they can't provide for themselves and the government isn't going to be able to do it um, many of us that are stronger willed need to be having the mindset that the very little that we have we cannot become greedy with it we're going to have to share it uh, just some thoughts folks um, you know they're not going to practice along New Madrid if they don't know for sure it's going to go off and it really doesn't fucking matter if they're going to set it off or if it's naturally occurring and I don't even know if we would honestly know for sure which happened is it the spatial changes pulling on the earth is it is it the uh, the earth itself reacting because of our abuse of it is it a combination of all is it heart is it all those it doesn't fucking matter it doesn't fucking matter. What matters is, is this going to happen? Okay, it is. I mean, it, it, I don't know. Is it going to be this week? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's very soon, though. Uh, the earth is, is contorting. And, uh, you know, you got to have that mindset. If you are in the New Madrid zone and you have somebody that lives outside of that zone and it's feasible for you to leave that area please do um, and if I'm wrong you're still alive okay and, and if I'm right you're still alive and if you don't and I'm right you you could die um, and now I know that's not going to be uh, feasible for everybody we're not going to have a mass exodus of millions of people out of that New Madrid zone and where you see all that blue water ripping the country in two pieces. Um, anyway, I just wanted you to start thinking about that uh, from a sane, non-urgent point of view. Uh, try to do what you can do within your means. If you haven't put together a bug out bag, if you don't have any supplies in your trunk, if you, if you haven't talked to your family about this, if you don't know the roads out of there, these are all things you need to start thinking about calmly and slowly and have the mindset. Okay, and it doesn't take a lot. I know I'm a, I'm a broke bastard. I'm raising three kids with, with no support. and um, But there's always little things, and you might not be thinking about it. But you got a closet full of stuff you haven't seen in years. Go through there. See what's there. Be creative. Okay? Uh there's a lot of things that can be used for other things okay um, maybe you got spare clothes that you haven't seen in a, in a hundred years and you can use those to to create a, a you know a travel bag with or whatever it is start start using your mind start being creative start looking for ways to use things um, for a different use okay start thinking about Oh shit, how do I build a fire? Now I'm going to tell you, me, myself, I don't really care what happens. I could walk through a war-torn land that's destroyed with my kids in tow, and, and I could make sure by the end of the day they had something to eat and that they were warm. I, I'm pretty versatile. Uh, I can make something out of nothing. I, I grew up very poor. Uh, part of my life I grew up with no running water. We carried water from a spring, and we used wood heat. Uh, we were very poor. My stepfather always worked. But a low-paying job, and we were always poor. And I'm I'm glad. I'm glad for that. Because now I have the skills to get by with nothing. But there's millions of you in danger that don't have those skills. 
and when something like this happens the economy is going to collapse and the, the benefits aren't going to be there the money isn't going to do you any good even if it was there start getting your mind on these things folks it doesn't take a lot of time and I don't want you to focus on it 24 hours a day nobody can live like that nobody can live in fear as for myself um, if these things come to pass then when they do uh, obviously uh, and if there is mass hysteria martial law or, and other things like that going on because of a major catastrophe that at which point I will go off grid um, I will shut down all my accounts and I will not use any electronic devices and I will go off grid I, I will not uh, be quarantined in a camp I will not comply um, I can take care of myself in the woods uh, you know and that's how I will go about it and if it doesn't happen I'm not going to spend the rest of my life somewhere where I, I don't really like it here the economy sucks and, the, and I hate being cold and there's things that uh, I feel I need to do uh, and I really want to travel and do live reports and be an activist and an advocate for the little guy like I do with the radio shows and uh, I try to do here at YouTube I want to expand on that and so that's my goal but see I have you have to think right now both ways you have to think about uh, maintaining life and where it's going from here and you also have to spend a little bit of time not every day don't let it consume you but spend a little bit of time thinking about what if because this is reasonable to think the, the new Madrid will go off they've practiced for it it was a little, well over a year ago so they've put things in place along that zone to care for the people that aren't going to get out of there some of them aren't going to get out of there alive folks it's as simple as that um, anyway I hope that uh, will get your mind working from a point of view that isn't fearful because that's the only way you're gonna get through things like this and you know what it's good practice for you uh, it's good for your kids and you gotta talk to your kids about these possibilities and you gotta do it from a calm perspective and because they need to be informed they need to know how to react and more importantly they need to know that you understand and that you have a plan you're responsible to care for them my kids know all these things they don't spend one day in fear they go about their day and they know that if something happens we're, we're gonna switch lifestyles in the blink of an eye they're okay with that too but they're not sitting around worrying about it um, it's a fine line to walk especially when you're talking about a child's mind now for any of you that like to justify lies because people might panic doesn't work there is no justification ever for a lie there is always a way uh, to tell the truth and be reasonable and productive you, you cannot justify a lie don't lie to your kids don't tell them everything is fine because everything is not fine but reassure them that everything will be fine because you've researched it you've planned for it and they can finish going about their day let them know what the plan is uh, when we were in California and concerned about earthquakes um, I told my kids that we just went through a simple plan like a fire drill I told them if I came into their room in the middle of the night and told them we're going camping they're not to argue they're to grab their warmest piece of clothing and one toy and get in the goddamn car because in a time like that you don't have any time to argue with the child and explain it in an emergency situation you need that child to to the best of their ability to move on their own so you do have to have a little bit of a plan um, but basically just make sure that you reassure them that you have a plan and that they're going to be okay because you don't want them to be scared because uh, none of us know really exactly when any of this is going to happen anyway that's all for now no links um, do some research much love many thanks and I'll see you soon